Hi, good evening, everybody. As you know, my name is Miss Jill Louise Starr. A few people that were reading my or watching my George Zimmerman, uh, Trayvon Martin video sent me some emails. Some of them weren't too nice and uh, said, well, who the hell are you? Don't you? What do you know about genocide? This and that. So um, that's a fair question. Who am I? Well, my name is Jill Louise Starr. I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I am Russian. All of my family are Russian immigrants to the United States of America, except my one grandfather on my mother's side was from Bucharest, Romania. Um, I, I studied international law, political science in graduate school for about 10 or 11 years. I graduated with a BA in Sociology and Criminology at William Patterson University in 1997. I went on to study two years at the New School of Social Research in New York City. From there, I studied a few semesters at Montclair State University in New Jersey. From there, I studied two more semesters at Fairleigh Dickinson University in Teaneck Hackensack in Political Science and uh, historical studies. I studied uh, substantive international criminal law and preventing international war crimes at NYU Continuing Division of Adult um, Continuing Division of Education with former Nuremberg prosecutor Benjamin Perez, who was the prosecutor, prosecutor for the United States of the Nazi trials after World War II. And uh, I think one of the youngest uh, United Nations Assembly Presidents, General Assembly Presidents, um, Mr. Goyan Stanak, who is from, I believe, he's from a Bulgarian diplomat, taught my substantive international criminal, international law class. Uh, and I studied a couple other places here and there. Uh, who am I? Mom Jill. I traveling extensively throughout Southeast Asia and at a very early age I acquired a greater cosmopolitan understanding regarding relationships existing between cultures, culture, politics, economics, and ideology than most other people might. My father worked for you said United States uh, Aid for International Development, and Iber, the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, before it became the IMF, and also Charles T. Main, uh, the company that Mr. John Perkins wrote his book, Confessions of an Economic Hitman, uh, when he worked for them also. It was government, they do a lot of governmental CIA and SA contracts. Um, anyway, uh, since I traveled with my father around the world, um, over Vietnam in 1970 before there weren't any uh, commercial airlines that didn't legally fly a legit Vietnam. We needed special military plans to do so. I remember flying over Vietnam in 1970 and my father saying to me, I was about seven, I looked down, we're flying over Vietnam now, Jill. Uh, we took a ferry illegally to China from Taiwan uh, with my parents uh, around 1971. Um, some other things, we, I, I went around on a bat winged boat, if you know what the, that is, in China, uh, in the Bering Strait. And um, I learned about um, the aforementioned culture, politics, and the interpersonal relationships, and interdiplomatic relationships, which often produce the prim primary contentions existing within international relations for view presently today and throughout history. I'd like to study that. Particularly, I'm interested in diplomatic relations between the United States of America and other non-democratic and non-liberal governed states, such as the former Yugoslavia and North Korea, Saudi Arabia. My past travels included uh, Thailand, Hong Kong, Indonesia, China, Taiwan, Japan, Malaysia, Serbia, Montenegro, which um, these travels have given me many times a broader comprehensive, broader comprehensions insofar as in the international relations, politics, human rights, and whereby diplomacy definitely necessitates enhancing between liberal democratic states, such as the United States of America and 
those states existing in the European Union and other non-liberal and or non-democratic government states such as the former Yugoslavia, North Korea, Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, China, and the Middle East. My own ideological viewpoint strongly stresses stress similarities we, share, we all share as human beings in both physiological and psychological needs in lieu of centering primary, primarily upon only our ideological and ethical dif ethic differences. I'm also cognizant that some political regimes abuse for private personal profit, religion, ethnicity, money, power, and nationalism as a means to oppress their own citizenry, torture them, and commit genocide, uh, certainly as uh, many recently have, and certainly North Korea. This in turn neg negatively affects the rest of the world, and I'm convinced for any government to engage in gross human rights violations and to torture its own citizenry is as great a tragedy in human rights as it is a mistake for the country itself. Because it is vital for any state's survival for it to maintain a healthy dialectical relationship between those ruling and those who rule over them, the citizens themselves and the people and the masses. This relationship ought to be premised upon mutual tr trust and stability between those who rule and those they rule over. When politicians, blinded by Hobsonian, vainglory, power, and greed, cause this dialectic relationship to fail, wars, revolutions, and conflicts ensue, such as those in the former breakup, in, such as in the former breakup of Yugoslavia, which was once compromised of the kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, later resulting in genocide as well as uh, the way in the same manner the Americans committed genocide in Vietnam uh, and many other places, their soldiers have worked. Um, I strongly, I also strongly believe the United States of America must subject itself to the same high minded human rights and legal standards it demands the rest of the world abide by, such as, again, uh, the 1999 Kosovo crisis, uh, where the United States of America and Bill Clinton, who himself said that. Uh, he would not declare war when uh, he was a 22-year-old man. When he wrote his Dodge the Dra Vietnam Draft letter, unless it was declared by an act of Congress, uh, both the War Powers Act, which was enacted by Congress after Vietnam, so that no pre United States president ever again would bomb or act aggressively against a country such as Vietnam or Serbia or Montenegro without first having a declaration of war, as it did in the U.S. Constitution, be declared by our Congress. Bill Clinton Greek was a failure in that respect. And then many others. When politicians blindly buy up so many things, glory, um, power, and greed cause this healthy dialectic between those who rule and those they rule over to fail, wars, revolutions, and conflicts, and genocide ensue, such as uh, from Yugoslavia, Vietnam, came. Cambodia, and Rwanda. I strongly believe the United States of America, I said that already, must, must abide by the same human rights and high-minded uh, moral provisions they want the rest of the world to adhere to. They must, the United States and the European Union must adhere to themselves. There's no excuse for calling human life collateral damage to Tony Blair. Anything less is totally hypocritical, Mr. Blair. And Wesley Clark, I am seriously undermines world peace and perpetual human survival for all in diplomacy. The United States needs better understandings of politics, security, and cultures, and the divergent cultures of this world we live in and share in many remote indigenous peoples to preserve their endangered cultures in accordance with the United Nations human rights instruments. I also possess extremely strong interests in analyzing political geography, cultural and theological social spaces of the formal ter territorial regions of many places, such as Croatia, Yugoslavia, Albania, Bosnia, Kosovo, and the Republic of Srpska. I desire to analyze, I analyze places where potential conflicts could arise. In the future, I will hopefully hope to eradicate those escalations before they before they uh, become uncontainable escalations of violence and war. 
I hope by analyzing our world's past political and historical experiences, we will not repeat them. Living in an age where nuclear weapons are bought and sold globally, and through tunnels uh, going from Mexico to the United States, as many drug cartels have told me, uh, many illegal alien Mexicans will, uh, when they go with their coyote or the illegal criminals that take them to the uh, desert into America, they will take parts uh, and things such as uh, uranium and dirty bombs and pieces of equipment to make uh, atomic bombs in the United States and poisons. They would gladly be paid thousands of dollars to uh, bring them into the United States through tunnels and other things um, from, Texas, from Mexico to Texas. So I, um, national and international world security is an additional strong interest of mine. I hope world leaders will begin learning from the world's past experiences that are bequeathed to us by the demise, early and timely demise of the ancient Roman Empire and World War II, where political messiahs such as Hitler have arisen and destroyed hundreds of thousands of Jews from the and Serbs, as well as others such as homosexuals. I personally have witnessed the greatly oppressed living conditions of the men, women, and innocent children residing in less developed countries in the United States, such as Indonesia, where I became friends with beggars and lepers in the streets, and got scabies and other diseases due to I used to give them money and become friends with them, um, even when they used to hate me and call me the Dutch girl because I was white in Indonesia. But that's another story I don't have space to go into here. Um, I have per I have personally um, witnessed the those oppressed living conditions, and this has given me experience and even a greater moral commitment to enhancing social justice and economic equity for persons throughout the world, regardless of race, religion, or ethnic creed. All human beings deserve basic human necessities, guaranteeing their survival. Hence, I stand strictly and very strongly against Western-imposed political and economic sanctions placed on four countries, such as Iraq, in which Mel and Albright, former United States Secretary of State, said killing with the use of sanctions half a million Iraqi children, quote, with it, to get at uh, Saddam Hussein, who was later killed anyway. That Mr. Ben Ferenc, the former U.S. Nuremberg prosecutor, told me in my class of preventing international war crimes, using sanctions and killing half a million children in Iraq was a war crime in and of itself, and that went all right for all Fulbright, which I'd rather refer to it as. It is also grave, of grave importance leaders of the United States of America fully understand ways in which they alienate other states, such as Pakistan, in which Al-Qaeda and Taliban exist, and how they created such monsters in the first place, such as Al-Qaeda and the Taliban, so it doesn't happen again, um, such as when the Al-Qaeda flag went up over the Benghazi courthouse in Libya after uh, Gaddafi was assassinated, the United States funded and gave uh, Al-Qaeda agents in Libya weapons, and uh, Al-Qaeda later got a hold of them, another gross mistake that was looked over by the current president, Obama. Uh, my personal career objectives include enhancing diplomacy and diplomatic ties and relations between the United States and former Yugoslavia. I also desire to work within the Law Project Center, a non-governmental United Nations credit organization, Darko Trifunice, serving diplomat. So friend started in Serbia and elected me as director of the United States in the New York City area. I like to advocate for greater human rights and social justice for all people, including myself, who has been greatly injured, beaten up by cops in West Milford Township, New Jersey, and the like, um, of which I've written about. And I've also been thrown out of three schools and have been discriminated against for my disability and my anti-NATO views. Number one, Seton Hall, social, uh, the New School for Social Studies and Research in New York, and Fairly Ridiculous Dickinson in New Jersey. I can prove it beyond any reasonable doubt that Hillary Clinton was in bed with the teachers union, and that is why my civil rights case was slipped under the rug at that time, and I can prove it. I have papers and depositions to prove it. 
Um, these are some, but not all, my future goals and what I'd like to do. Uh, I would like a job if someone wants to hire me. And I enjoy working towards uh, future world peace and a lot more uh, I won't get into here. You can read on my website. I've been affiliated with, um, in the past, uh, the American Sociological Association, the Sphere Court of New Jersey. I uh, have a certificate in mediation resolution, the Serbian Unity Congress. I have um, letters from the international, I'm a member and was inducted into the International Sociological Honor Society, the International Studies Association, the International Movement Against All Forms of Discrimination and Racism, which my former uh, professor in Eastern Religion, Mr. Rim, uh, founded at the United Nations and as a Columbia University graduate many years ago. I have his letter to me posted on Picasa, the National Dean's List, three years in a row, 1997, graduated with National Honors, went Patterson College, 1997, uh, Russian Orthodox Christian singer for 20 years, and uh, that is who I am. So please, uh, don't send me ridiculous uh, emails, and don't post stupid things on my uh, on my uh, YouTube sites because, uh, yes, as you can see now, I do know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to genocide and war crimes. I also met and uh, was friends with, hung out with, for, um, during my stay in Yugoslavia for almost a month, Rakan Lavic, Radovan uh, Karadzic, and uh, Mr. Babic, as well as Goran Hodges, who wrote my poem in Montenegro. So I do know what I'm talking about. So don't anyone there, you, know, you can post whatever you want, but if you want to look like an idiot, but you know what I'm talking about when it comes to genocide, thank you, and good night.